Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them. After a bad accident, they were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So the little brother got so angry, he killed her. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Hey, wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nana. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> D. 
Diaz brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No. I guess... I don't feel that bad about what I did. Maybe... That's bad. Not in this case. It was her or us. You did what you had to do, Anano. I know. She was so nice at first. Nobody can tell me what to do with my power. Especially her. Yeah, but with great power, you know the drill. I know, I know. I'll be careful. Don't worry. Sean, are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well... We're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anano. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh, yeah. I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while. But at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land. But between them and their destination, lied The evil Chupacabra. And they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? Yeah, that's true. Okay then, so what happens next? Uh, okay. So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. Okay, Stephen King Jr. You win. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Activate flashlight. On the way.
Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. We better get out of here before that. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. It felt good to sleep under all those stars. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah, these guys are real cool. Amazing that anything can grow out right here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well... Oh, uh, good question. Think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah, Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Hmm. I think she's in denial. What do you mean? Karen... kind <laughs> of acts like you don't have a power. Maybe she doesn't want to believe it. I don't get it. I hear you. Looks like a job for our local super... psychic boy. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> Boom. Easy peasy. <laughs> nice, man.
see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Excuse me, water boy. <laughs> Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I can grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Looks like they all finally found their home. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. Karen letting us invade her space after all these years. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us too.
No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird... Huh. You think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. Wonder where he's at now. Hmm. <laughs> he could write her whole story. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Oscar and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kind of weird. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. 
don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Now, let's throw on that spider. Check it out! Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Maybe you should keep the same bottom piece, don't you think? Daniel, you know every artist sees and does things differently. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Sweet! going with this clever uh where is he going sean is about to show you daniel keep watching yo can you turn that that um spider thingy around totally <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about turning that pancake head? There he goes! Hmm. Let's cut the pancake head for now. You got it. Nope, nope, no, uh, let's take that spider off the pedestal. See, Sean. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Summon the spider queen. Watch this. Activate pancake head. You got it. Spin that pancake! Spin! Watch this. I 
feel like we're almost done. <laughs> well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes. And you can build whatever you want in it. <laughs> super wolf to the silver runner copy I hit something super cool for you to find will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure 10-4 okay you're on it I know if I can find you in a forest I can find anything yes thanks Sean listen carefully you must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Oh, man! You're right there! Just look around! Just grab it! So much. You're here! <laughs> nah, not this one. The one about the guy who's obsessed over this medieval fantasy hmm. show character. <laughs> You're in the middle, Oh, still. yeah, I remember that one. My ex was a fan of this show, too. Way cold. Sean. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. You're way out there, dude. Not too far. Okay. Arrgh, I'm a shitty pirate, and I'm so done with this quest. Ah, uh, don't give up now. Come on. Hey, I'll give you another hint. The second item is by the solar panels. Mm, okay. I'll keep on hunting. You can do it. Thanks, Sean. As cold as ever. Not too far. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Warm. Getting closer. Getting closer. Hey. Your Captain Spirit drawing. Was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could 
show it to Chris. Do you think he can visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Yep. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Instead of snowmen, we can make sandcastles. You're lost, Sean. Not too far. Not too far. Now you're totally frozen. Dude, you're a snowman. Nope. As cold as ever. Getting warm. You're warming up. Not too far. As cold as ever. Warm. We watched a French cooking show with them the other day. <laughs> Stanley is such a tech nerd. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Oh, yes. Then I could be Zomboy fighting vampires. Sucks that we can't get food coloring out here. You're way out there, dude. Nice mess. <laughs> Tenya will never change. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Pretty smart. Runs. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. <laughs> Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. 
That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Hey, do you miss Beaver Creek? I miss having the house. But the town was kind of dead. But I really miss Chris. And Grandma and Grandpa. I'm just glad we're still family out there. Part of town is dead this time. Let's just stay around here. Looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found a hidden treasure. Gotcha. We'll help Brad with the groceries.
Watch out! I'll let them know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. This is such a weird fucking place. Hey. But that's what's cool about Glad it. To see you survive the night in the desert. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it. Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom! How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast! Whoa! Yes! Thanks, David! <laughs> you wanna play catch, Danny boy? Totally! Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah. Been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals. Or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. <laughs> Me neither, but I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. He's a walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try and be a good influence, but our bond is complicated. We're brothers. Maybe I even fucked him up more. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you were married. Uh, I used to be. She died a few years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's life. <sighs> but at least I had an angry stepdaughter in the deal. <laughs> we were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did, but we eventually made our peace. Anyway, you can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> 
Just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. Hope my crops will make it. Is that a new statue? That woman is amazing. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <laughs> Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not going to get in your space. They have their own past, too. <laughs> That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Hope it's worth it. It's not easy to live as outcasts. Off the grid. Clearly not. We ought to be almost self-sufficient. And it's a very lonely life. It's cool you found your safe space. I guess. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf? We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> <sighs> Huh. 
Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big and pretty and so quiet, except for the birds of prey. out here. No. The hunters better be careful of Super Wolf. You must hike all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but that's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. <sighs> I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much. I know you had it rough lately, but it'll be better when you're settled. <clears throat> By the way, um, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there, but I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This can last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Whoa, 
awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. Why can't everybody leave us alone? Oh, oh honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start from the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. That's bullshit, Mom. Don't give up. Don't. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. You have to stay true to yourselves. But it's hard when somebody or something gets in the way. It can get ugly. You have to find some sort of balance. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. We already did. I know. 
You did what you had to, to protect your brother all the way from Seattle to Arizona. And I'm sorry, you had to make hard decisions to stay safe. But sometimes, you just have no other choice. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. It took me some time, but... I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. I'm sorry for getting you into trouble. You've done your best for us. And don't deserve what's coming. We'll make up for it. One day. Once the dust has settled. Take care. And talk soon. Sean. Should go see what David wants now. <laughs> Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. I'm on it. I'll join you when I'm done. Must be his wife. Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. Hmm. They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Cool portraits. <laughs> I didn't think David had a taste for the arts. That must have been the best meal ever to frame it on the wall. Okay, how does this thing work? Uh. Okay, only got to search between 140 and 160. Testing. Testing. And here you go, another. This place has too many adults. But I'm gonna miss it. Wait, is this it? Down 
by uh, Sam's? <laughs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. Sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. You only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane. Now, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away, never to look back, while I was trying to rebuild. Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on, like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them, and we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way, and I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean... I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. That you think there's no other way out. And you're neck deep in trouble, all right. But you and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? You're still young. I bet they'd be lenient if you step up and face the law. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And 
Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? No shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. Okay, old gal. Let's check you out one last time. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kinda sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, and I know. Come here. Mom... I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It means so much to me that I got to see you. I know life has not been fair, but you're brave and strong. You're gonna make it to Mexico. Just watch out for your power, Daniel, and your big brother. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. <sighs> Let's hit the road. Something wrong? We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? As we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. 
So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? I get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? Everybody likes you, man. You'll be the cool American kid in no time. I can do that. Maybe. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Good. It's so big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. All units be advised. After the raid on away, there was no sign of Sean and Daniel Diaz. Hey, Sean, why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trash, or what? I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us, right? So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah, take it easy. You can do it.
right, Superwolf? Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it! We fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. We've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. Nah, we did it together, man. Come on, let's go back to the car. Oh, man, oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some choco crisp. It'll be Daniel. Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Oh. 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 No. No way, not now. Daniel! <sighs> Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well? Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! Now, it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Do we look like terrorists? We're just kids. Not after you blow a wall up. So tell me the plan. You're not cops. You can't arrest us. No, but we work with them. And they sure appreciate our help. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Porter Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. No, Stop bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. D don't move. Uh. What? what the fuck? Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Uh. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <laughs> fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! Fuck's sake! What I say? Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, uh. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? 
Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Don't look at me. Estás bien? Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron a cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. What the hell is wrong with these people? Ugh, this place is fucking gross. Seriously? Why are you doing this? What's your problem? Doing what? You shot my ten-year-old brother! It was a mistake. It's just a graze. The fall is what knocked him out. Oh, you don't have to talk to him, Dad. What the hell is wrong with these people? Excuse me. Do you know where my brother is? He's just a kid. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. No somos ilegales. Nacimos aquí. Intentamos llegar a México. Pues ustedes van a ser ilegales en México. Cuestión de perspectiva. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Son muy valientes. Y además estás embarazada. <ríe> Mi Carlita es la mujer más valiente del mundo. <ríe> y la más inteligente también. En nuestro pueblo era profesora. Queremos que el niño nazca en este país. Que tenga la nacionalidad. Queremos darle una vida... Una vida mejor a nuestro hijo. O hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. 
Pero lo de México no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? No sé, creo que soy un poco pesimista en el camino. No solo me encontré con gente amable. Me imagino. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego, no, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Immigrants built this country. Where did the... Founding fathers come from, huh? No, 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 that was different. They made the laws. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes, an honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our borders, we have a right to protect our sovereign nation, and we will. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See, you love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? Take it easy. This is our country. You win. I would like to get out of here soon. No, you no va a ganar. Dile esto, Carla. Ya, basta. No vale nada. Fuck you, you wetback. You and your what girlfriend. The fuck? Yo! Madison, everybody calm down. <sighs> Campbell, tell me we're out of here. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit. Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. And no more fighting down here. Or I'm gonna get mean. Okay? Let's move it. All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Fuck. What did they do with Daniel? I hope he's all right. Of course not. Why do you care? Because Adam didn't. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. But no, never. Once we have to leave, there's no way to grow. Oh, shit. 
Is it morning already? How am I going to get myself out of this mess? So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? I'm a sovereign citizen. Open up. Oh, hey. What are you babbling about now? Do you ever just not yell? It's been a long fucking night. We're all sick of your shit. If I have to come back here again, you're going to solitary. Got it? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? No. Shit. Yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then, you join a religious commune in Nevada, and its leader is found dead short after. Hmm. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Keep your teenage crisis for Agent Flores. She's on her way. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But... Denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did... was try to survive. Yeah. I guess you did. You know... I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? What do you want me to say? We're supervillains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet 
The judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! What is that? Uh, sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Hold on. You okay? How do you feel? I I'm okay. Just a little headache. Dude, who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Yeah. Mom, we gotta go. Get us out of here! Sean. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who try to shoot you. Really? I bet they deserve a lesson. <laughs> sure. Time for payback. <laughs> what do you want now? Your turn, Daniel. Fuck off! Don't mess with this kid. I mean it! <laughs> oh shit! It's new! That's what they get. It's new! Assholes. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Wow. That's it! Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. O of course. Shit! Don't uh, move! Don't shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean! Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick! I gotta find something to stop the muck, dude! Come on! What the him. fuck?! We will shoot if we need to! Understand? Fire extinguisher! Should I take care of What's this? What's going on?! Okay, what the fuck? Do not move! Don't do anything stupid, kid! This is our last warning! Put your guns down! Please! Sean! Ow! Sean! Hey! Uh, you, you alright? I'm... I'm used to it. I'm okay. Idiots. They should've known better. Yeah. Saved our asses. Now, let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. Step back. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. Come on, Sean. We gotta go. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. If... Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go! Let's roll, Daniel. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers. 
have escaped from the El Rey police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was sowing the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Sean, we can't let them get us. Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hands above your head! Do exactly what I say! You know that day in Seattle, the date Dad was shot, I think about it every day, and I would give anything to change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you are the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter, Inano, like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Please, don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I hate promises. I'll try. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? They make it to the other side. Be careful.
We can go now. Yeah. Let's go home.